So I'm going to tell you today some really cool hacks of gotcha that you can use to improve your characters. So let's get on to it. So hair part. Uh, most of people usually confuse themselves while making hair part. You can always choose any of so the best hair parts for girls are this this one. This one and this one and this one. These four are the most commonly best used rare hair for girls. And for boys, I guess this one this one this one. and this one or this one so here are some examples you could use I'm gonna make a girl and for front hair so mostly you have only one type of front hair but you know if you got some little confusement like you want this rare hair but want it a little bit other way so you can always do that and like this now it looks like a different hair part you can use that and you can give it any color you want and if you like whatever hair color you like on her I'm gonna give that okay part two eyes there's a lot of eyes so you can choose from eyes based on what type of character you want eyes they basically depends what your character is like eyes like this represent your character as a normal calm person Big eyes like that define that they're a joyful person. And eyes like this represent that they're nice and cute, you can see that. And Eyes like these represent that they're fashionable. So you could choose any eye you want. You could give them your color, whatever color you want for the eyes. It's your choice. Now for pupils. Most of people don't like to add pupils, but for me, I think pupils are the best part. Pupils represent such moods, or you can always use pupils to share things. Like, here's one. You can use these pupils you could their X scale to 11 which is the highest one and both to 11 do it like this and then color is the shade your eyes are but in a little darker if you have big eyes you can always put this a little more higher
and like this you can always adjust the setting by yourself like you can put this on the upper scale or either the lower scale here like this you can use these to for the best eye shades you can shade your cut this eye crystals okay moving on to eyebrows you can always use better eyebrows and not straight line because they do not usually give a better effect make sure to make your eyebrow the same color as your hair you can always thin them you can always fat them like your characters want it's your choice oops almost forgot the skin color Skin color is something that depends on the most parts. You can either choose a really light skin or either a very dark skin. Every skin color is great. And there we go. She looks nice still now. Nose. Sometimes giving a nose always help. They give them a small dot or a small like this. But I have a cool idea for that. You could put this nose and do it a little darker color than the skin. Tilt it. Put the scale to a little wider and this to thin. Adjust it. Adjust the nose like you want, and there you go. It looks like a nose line, and you can just define the nose by that. You could now not put a mouth, you could use any mouth you want, make a smiley, a uh, frown, or anything you want. Every face gives a great effect. Doesn't matter what your character is. <laughs> There's always gotta be a big smile on them. So smile wide. <laughs> smile wide people. Smile wide. For the camera please. <laughs> yeah. I lied. Okay. And for mouth, you can always go into the outline and pick any color. Mostly the outline represents the lips color. You can. So it's your favorite whether you have what lip color you want for them. You could put the chin like this or this, or you know, like this. Like, there's nothing wrong with this chin. Look, it's so perfect. <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah, look at the chin. It's so great. Doesn't matter what the chin's like. <laughs> so you can choose your chin type, and you could either choose highlights. Highlights are like a tip if you want to give your character a small like piece of tip to make them yang or you could either do this it look like their hair is shiny so yeah you can do that um you can give them a little blush if you want blush could be used in makeup too Or if you want to add a little shade to their skin, that could be helpful too. Oops, face shadow. 
Okay, the put that if you want to make a sad like with your clutter is not going to happy so you can put fish and eyes views. If it present where is your character is looking at? My character is looking straight. Well, once I touch eyes view, the pupils are always going to ruin. I don't know, some kind of look. I'm not sure. And then you have these presets. You could put them and represent your characters. <laughs> How your characters feeling? And yeah. Moving on to clothes. Starting with hats. First, the first thing you have to think about clothes is whether you're making a summer character or whether you're making a winter character. Mostly people do like both, like half of them is winter and half of them is summer because yeah, that's just not good. I'm making a summer character right now. So let's start. I'm gonna make her a fashion model type person. There you go. Her hat's done. That is looking really good. Adjust the hat. And there. I just noticed she hadn't got any back hair. You can always make their hair look small or big. It's either your choice. Open or in a ponytail. Every hair matters. Done. Now you can either give her glasses if you want. I'm not sure if I want to give her any glasses. Or maybe yeah, give her glasses. Nah, I think I'll go without glasses. Accessories? You could either give her accessory if you want. There you go. You could give her more accessories. Go give her tops. Most people do these small type of top, but no. Tops are the best part. You could do you can choose your whatever top color you want, and you can make different type of tops like this. Like choose this, this small, indeed, and then this and face accessory. Put it to his, put it to her hair, adjust it to her hair, and then adjust its size. Adjust its size, and then color it the way your first top was. You could either make a top 
top value on either than very short you could add another top if you want like like this bring it bring it to our ear adjust it and attach it easy there now she got a beautiful top you can always go with a scarf or any necklace anything's great choose what type of scarf you want give it your color and then you can choose your shirt logo I'd rather not have a logo because I'm not sure maybe I should give her this logo later but First, I'm gonna go with the clothings. Let's start with the upper clothings. As for she's a model, so she should have some fashion like those clothes. So there I have this one. Over a skirt, you can choose what type of skirts you want. You can choose our pants. And her socks. And her shoes. The clothing matters on you. You can give her any clothing you want. You could give her any more accessories for her bags, cards, or anything you want. You can give her gloves.
after all that your character is done. And then you can see that everything looks great. You go after rechecking everything, that everything is done. And that one. You can give it up. And last step, you could give her effect if you want, if you like, so you could give her some effects. You could either hide some stuff if you want on her. We were a pet. And lastly, you could give her a name. I'm gonna call her Rebecca. Ta da! You can give her an age. I think that she's around 19 something. You could give her a birthday date. I'm not sure, but just like give her. You could write a profile. You could like your name, created by, but it's your. You could give her a favorite title, favorite red tip, favorite club, well, like details, and this then. You could adjust her height, and whether you want her thin, or whether you want that you want. And there you go, she's done. Done. Miss Rebecca, look over here. Can you smile for the camera, please? <laughs>